So this sheet is used um, to uh, kind of produce diagrams of the different properties of waves that can be seen in a ripple tank. Um, obviously these are, these are properties that can, well, waves show in many contexts, but you should have been able to see them in the ripple tank. Um, you see the water waves doing it, and it's just a way of doing the diagrams to kind of, on paper, have a way of kind of showing that. Uh, you'd also be expected to do this in an exam situation. Now where we'll start is up here with the plane waves. Um, you don't need to do anything with this diagram other than just appreciate that this is representing a plane wave. Now you should have looked at a kind of definition of what that means before, uh, but just as a reminder what it means here is traveling in that straight line there, so this is just showing the direction of the wave, and what each of these is showing are what we call wave fronts. So in the ripple tank that would be either the crest or the dip of a wave, um, although the dark we said that was the light patch that was a dark patch in the ripple tank that would mean that that's the sort of trough of a wave so each of these represents one wavelength of the wave okay and as you can see the wavelength here is not changing because all of the gaps are constant and that's all you need to know about this first one